everybody, this is Coach Johnson with Shutdown Defense. Hope everybody had a great weekend enjoying the playoff football games. I'm a huge Buccaneer fan, so fire those cannons. Uh, we'll be ready to face up against Green Bay. But today we're going to talk uh, part 11 in the series um, regarding how we handle motions. Again, this, as I say before, this isn't um, – the way you should do it or um you know the best ways to do it this is again just some ways that we do it um based off of handling some motion along what with still defending some triple option versions of uh motion so i am going to go ahead and share my screen and while i do that i want to thank again everybody that has checked out the prior videos if you haven't checked them out make sure to uh hit the link above and i will link those to you and uh please subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up or thumbs down on the video so the first way we're going to discuss handling motion uh within the 3-3 stack uh too high structure is uh something that we call roll and we're going to have some video clips of <clears throat> some of these uh our roll coverage basically if we get a uh again this is all going to be talking about our two by two if we get a motion um that comes across uh for us this would be what we call a laser call all right so our roll calls are laser and rocket okay laser obviously meaning motions going to the left rocket meaning motions going to the right and uh, the way that we the way that we do this is basically when we see motion and um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Coach Pete DeWeese. Um, this is some of the way that they handled uh, motion that I really like because of the angles that it creates. Um, now again, this is this is basically rolling to uh, a cloud kind of, of look here. So again, we play cloud, we play sky. Um, so that's very familiar for us. Uh, the thing I like about this is, again, it creates angles that make it tough um, for blocks. A lot of times, even maybe even a block in the back um, happening here. Okay, so we are basically rolling uh, to a cover three cloud on that. It allows us to keep everything intact in the box. For instance, um, this is a uh, jet. Uh, power read that we're talking about here okay so uh, again we would get a um, down block from the defensive end or a down block from the tackle I'm sorry we're going to squeeze with our defensive end we're going to scrape tight okay and again most of the time they're going to want to get this guy locked in here all right this guy's going to look to block this buck so a lot of times this guy's got a great angle to get up in here on the jet, all right? And you'll see that in the video. I think a lot of times, guys, depending on uh, what you're doing with motion will depend on how much motion the offense ends up using, okay? Here's a look at a um, jet going one way with a speed option coming the other way. I, I drew it up again as a roll kind of look. Um, just to kind of see how we uh, fit everything. So again, we're getting a down block from the defense then. We're going to kind of squeeze and surf, all right, because we're on the weak side here. And this is the question I get. How do you deal with motion uh, going strong and then them coming back weak? Well, this is the way that we handle it. Uh, we get a block down, so we get a squeeze and surf. My defensive end would be responsible for uh, the quarterback because the Ram is getting that down block. He already knows that he's scraping outside. So uh, again, if we see this throughout the week, uh, we will again work that squeeze and surf. That way we can get to quarterback, make him pitch that. And uh, we have uh, our Ram take the pitch man there, okay? 
This is what we call our poach. If we don't want to uh, really give any kind of, of movement or look, again, I, I drew it with a, a jet look coming um, to the strong side with a speed option uh, look coming back side. Um, again, same, same principles kind of apply. The only difference is when this motion goes away, we are basically manning up here okay we're gonna basically squeeze down get in man press and then we know that this free is responsible for number three uh going vertically so again in, in this case he's not rotating right away uh with the motion to the middle um again maybe maybe we we don't feel that our defensive end can squeeze and surf and still be able to uh, play quarterback right there, so it gives us a little bit a little bit of help on that end. And uh, again, on this end, we continue to play our um, to read. At this point, though, my buck has to understand that uh, this three coming across. Okay, this is now the new number three once he gets past here. All right. So again, there is some different teaching that you have to go through there. Um, another way that you can do it is basically to uh, play a bump look, all right, where basically uh, as the motion comes, um, your buck expands, basically turning it into uh, our mix uh, look that we have there. And um, so let's go ahead and pull up some video. Okay. So you're going to see in this video, okay, again, we have, uh, this is same principles apply really. Um, again, it does, it, it does look like a, a four man look, but you'll see as, as motion comes. Motion comes across, we come down, we get over the top. All right. Again, the reason I like coming that way is because of the angle um, that it creates for us. It's it's a much better angle. Obviously, um, you can roll your guy down in a sky look as well, um, but sometimes him coming straight down, your angles aren't quite as good um, for that. Again, we get a little bit of motion. All right, they come back and, and they're trying to run a zone and then still come back with the speed option. Um, this team used a lot of motion. Sometimes they would come all the way across. Sometimes they would reset. Sometimes they would um, line up uh, back into the backfield and give you a two back look. These are all different things that you need to think about when deciding how you are going to deal um, with motion again, guys. Obviously, if you're in some kind of man-to-man, -man, um, you know you're going to probably be traveling across with him. Um, video is horrible. I apologize for that. We come across in motion. Now, again, our safety doesn't do a very good job of, of getting over the top. Um, okay, we'd like to get down and over the top a little bit again. Um, a lot of times they were just motioning to run game. Uh, we weren't as concerned in the uh, pass game because we knew that really they wanted to run the ball. They wanted to get us moving around and out of our, our gaps and our, our fits here. So this time they come motioning. As you see, we're we're kind of coming into that that poach, that lock down there. Okay. Again, this is our corner here making the tackle because he was the one that squeezed down when the motion came down, right? Basically comes unblocked there. All right, bad angle for for the the running back to try and and kick him out. And again, we're already right there in his face, so that always makes it uh, much more difficult. 
these are all plays early in the game um, where, again, they're trying to motion, see what we do with motion. Um, throughout the game, um, as they motioned, they started realizing all they were doing was motioning us into better situations for us as a defense. And again, that's that's something that if, if you can start basically eliminating their motions, you're ahead of the game on the defensive side. Okay, so make sure again, here we come down, right? And, and as we come, a lot of people ask, this guy comes down, he will uh, pick up this motion man and basically take him on any kind of wheel route um, up the field as well. Okay, here we are down on the goal line. Um, again, I apologize for the video uh, being choppy. Uh, huddle um, maybe getting replaced here very, very soon. Okay, so we get motion again. All right, we come down. Okay, and we know that basically we're, we're setting that edge. Again, let's get everybody to the ball. A little bit too much standing around back here. I don't like that. I want everybody, everybody in on the ball. So we get some motion. All right, here's reverse coming back. Linebacker started flowing a little bit too hard. Again, remember, he's got to stay to uh, play the um, reverse. Any kind, You know, again, we tell our guys A, B, C, D. Ball goes away. Think bootleg, counter, some kind of deception play, reverse, something along those lines. Maybe even, again, coming back, um, back at us with the speed option. Um, I think that's probably, you know, hasn't given us the most trouble, but it has given us some trouble, especially if the backside linebacker decides to um, come back through. Here we are getting a guy on late. He runs right to his middle linebacker spot. Uh, luckily, they weren't able and he, he, he fits right away. So again, guys, like I always say, you need to do what's best for your team and your players to help them be as successful as possible. These are just thoughts and ideas um, of things that you can use uh, when trying to decide how you are going to handle motion um, from the offense. And again, I, I know you're seeing a lot of four, four down linemen here um, at, that, at that point. Um, at this point in some of these clips, our uh, stack backer would have been one stack backer, the other would have been stepped down as a defensive lineman. Um, so again, that's why I said it was easy transition for us to go between a four-two-five team and a three-three stack team. Uh, pardon me, three-three stack team without changing our rules, our reads, and our coverages behind it. So. Thanks again for checking out the video today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, make sure to leave a thumbs up or thumbs down and have a great day.